Welcome to Your Two Cents, where we tell you our opinion, then ask for yours. And now, it's a fairly common circumstance that when a TV channel feels they should be paid more money by the cable companies to carry their station, they often raise their rates. Sometimes this leads to a dispute in which each side runs negative smear campaign type ads against the other party in the hopes of swaying the consumer to their side in the fight. Uh, such is the current case of the CBS and Time Warner cable war battle, I guess, that's you know, that's currently going on that you might have heard about. Uh, in that case, talks fell through so far that CBS actually pulled their shows from Time Warner, uh, the, from Time Warner altogether, uh, leading to an absolute blackout. What are your, what do you guys think about situations like this? Is this, is this just another bargaining tool, or is this just like, I don't know, like how are consumers supposed to feel about this? I didn't really think too much about it until, was it, I think it was last year when uh, AMC was uh, in negotiations or renegotiations with Verizon mm -hmm. for, yeah. for their channel. And the big push was, you know, hey, look, there's a chance that you will not see The Walking Dead because uh, Verizon is going to be dropping AMC. Uh, and they set up a website, they set up all mm -hmm. this stuff to go and voice your opinion. And to be frank with you, I had heard these these uh, rumblings before, but never really paid much attention to them until it was a show that I actually cared about. Right, a channel right. that you wanted to watch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was it was like I, as soon as I heard that, I went, I'm I'm getting on my computer and voicing my opinion. Yeah. So you know, I went to their website and filled out the form and wrote a little note. And hmm. wow, so you actually you actually took a took a stand in it. See, personally. I I tend to just be mad at both parties because they kind of make me feel like a child in divorce proceedings, you know, <laughs> right. where like each each of the two parties are just trying to like get me on their side in this right. battle because they feel like that'll make everything right. Like the cable company puts out TV spots that are like Time Warner Cable is trying to take AMC away from you, and then Time Warner Cable will play a spot that's like AMC's being unfair, or in right. this case, Time Warner and, and CBS for this blackout that I currently have, so I can't watch Under the Dome if you can believe it. <laughs> oh so yeah, I watch, I watch terrible television. <laughs> so you know, I I I honestly don't care whose fault it is. I just want it fixed. You know, I don't I don't right. really take a side. Lewis, do you find yourself taking a side? In these? No, I think it's just a matter of greed. It's basically Time mm -hmm. Warner saying like, hey, you know what, let's put the the rate down on, our negoti on your negotiation with CBS, and CBS is saying, no, we have good content, we want a higher rate, otherwise you're going to lose us. Right. You know? And then what happens? Then both CEOs start like sending each just like notes or letters, you know, public letters saying like, oh, this is this is Time Warner's stance and everything. You know, if CBS doesn't like it, then we might allow for CBS's channels for an a la carte basis mm -hmm. and let the customers decide, oh. you know, what's going to happen. And of course, that's just a big bluff. Time right. Warner is never going to do that, and CBS right. is never going to allow that to happen. Right. So th they're basically using the, the it's like you said, Jeff. It's like you're 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 the kid. You're the kid in the messy divorce, you know. Right. And the, yeah. each side is trying to like have you on their side. Yeah. And the thing is, is that we know it's going to be resolved. We know that CBS or AMC or whoever is going to finally come back to the channel. It's just a matter of how long you, you're putting out your customer, you know? Right, and, right. and I mean, it's in everyone's best interest to settle this. And yet, I don't know, they... they they feel like these kind of marketing campaigns somehow turn the co consumer onto their side, and and I just don't, I just don't feel that that's the way at all. I mean, sure, in a, in an open marketplace system where a channel like CBS is like we have the seven highest rated TV shows or however many of all of television, so we should be getting more for our channel. But then you're you're holding you're holding my eyeballs ransom, you know. <laughs> and I just I just don't uh, I just don't like it. And it went to the point where, like, Time Warner actually, no, CBS um, pretty much blocked people on Time Warner from even streaming CBS content online. So that's pretty vicious, you know. Yeah, they're getting they're getting pretty cutthroat. I mean, yeah. this this deal. Are there's you're, now you said you're still blacked out, Jeff. I am um, on still regular TV out. unless they just fixed it this morning. But I uh, last I heard it was still blacked out. Last I checked. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really it's really crazy, and I th I agree with you. It is like being a kid in the middle of a of a messy divorce, and yeah, really yeah. the only one who suffers ultimately is, is us. The right, consumer. right, right. I, I and like I I don't know. Maybe we just can't see it. Maybe there is an upside to this type of 
uh, you know, this this type of situation, this type of contentious situation between the two parties that somehow benefits us. But I just I just can't see it, and that's probably right. just because I literally can't see it. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's greed because I mean, even if CBS says like, okay, we'll come in under a lower contract, do you think Time Warner is going to pass those savings on to the consumer? Of course uh, not. No. Right. Yeah, of no. course not. Right. Yeah. When's the day where we're going to get a letter be like, look, we renegotiated with CBS and AMC to save you 15 cents a month? Yeah. Right. Never, never. Yeah. No. All right. Well, that's our two cents. What's yours, viewer? Let us know how you feel about TV channel blackouts in the comments below. I'm Jeff Summerjee. Bye.